Hello everyone, my name is Shai and today I'm checking out some more J. J. Lin. Um, this time I'm checking out Happily, Painfully, After. Um, I already checked out from Dust, uh, dust to Ashes. Dust and Ashes, Dust to Ashes. Um, but anyway, um, I cried, as per usual. I feel like that's kind of a common theme with J. J. Lin because a lot of his, his MVs are kind of, and his songs too, are kind of very like beautifully sad is how I want to put it. And the stories he tells his MVs are quite interesting as well, so I'm ready to see what this one entails. I said I'd get tissue, but I'm gonna brave it, because I don't think I need it. I'm probably gonna regret it, but here we go. Without further ado, this is JJ Lin with Happily Painfully After. Here we go. Oh no, it's his concert, that's okay. Ooh, no, I might cry. Oh, pandemic. It's hard for everyone. I think this might be a different kind of thing
It off right there. This is gonna be credits. Whoa. Again. The tears. We may not we know not true happiness until we have filthy race struggle and pain. JJ Lynn. JJ Lynn, man. I swear, I'm telling you, every single time, I, I feel like. It's, oh, really, I have no words. Sorry, I'm trying to translate this really long comment that someone did. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. First of all, when I look at this music video and even the entire album, I notice that the two colors, black and white, play a very important role in this music video leading to the timeline. I noticed that too, actually, I forgot to mention that in, um, in Dust and Ashes. Dust, two, Dust and Ashes is like the piano. There's a one with all white keys and one with all black keys. Mr. Lewis, the male lead is a doctor, so the first man to wear white clothes for medical staff disinfection should be ready to go work during the epidemic. After wearing white robes and equipment, the male lord is godless. Uh, well, this is a uh, really bad translation, so do pardon it. Uh, the male lord is godless and empty, is thinking. Careful disinfection during the outbreak. Medical staff were busy cleaning. Website saw that someone had died cleaning, and the camera turned to the important timeline indicated the clock at 8.04, 29 seconds on the first. The image of a sick child under a, last, a large glass painting of a future city seems to be a metaphor for leading, leaving behind the most beautiful memories of his childhood and not being able to reach probably the future. That what well, that one that one made me tear up, um, to be honest, because I remember one of my students because we have an English contest, a speech contest coming up soon. One of my students' speeches that they want to be a pediatrician and they feel really sorry for the kids who aren't able to you know live their childhood freely. Um, because they are so sick and they have to be, they have to stay in the hospital. Um, is the man alone in the dark, shedding tears as a doctor in the side of the night, make away pe from people or something else? Perhaps the bereaved family sat helplessly in a chair, matching the lyrics to God again as the hostess ran toward him and let the host looked at her and froze. The men and women looked at each other and looked away. The man who came back to me, held the woman's hand tightly. Uh, the woman's eyes are filled with frustration and reluctance. One of the family members pushed the man away. In this passage, the man and woman are supposed to be lovers, and depending on the family's reaction, the woman can't avoid the death of the epidemic. And as a doctor, the man can't save the woman. Ah. The first explanation of black and white can be understood as a person dressed in white for survival and the person dressed in black for the deceased. Hmm. Oh, that's right. In the in the corridor, when it was like the f male family members and then the doctor, um... The, the family members, presuming they're family members, wore black, while the doctor wore white, and the lady wore a yellow top with a black skirt. So perhaps she's the one who died, and he's trying to save her, and then um, the family was frustrated at that. The camera goes back to the male protagonist alone and sad. I understand the previous paragraph can know as a doctor, but cannot save the pain of lovers. When the car hit the man's car from the left, the people were checking inside, and the ambulance arrived to pick him up. The black 
coat and white shirt man, his soul stood up with half the wound and headed in the unknown direction. The soul rides a uh, motorcycle and has a direction to chase something. Then he gets on a train that seems empty. The woman, also her soul, dressed in black, sits leisurely on the train. When the black and white uniformed crew, which can also explain the situation, can be interpreted as a ferryman. So the train is a ferryman. Um, what came into the trunk, the man slowly slipped out to avoid being seen by the crew, and the, the woman raised her hand and succeeded in missing the man. When the man turns to the toilet, the camera turns to his watch, the time is 7.40 p.m. It's still bright outside the train, but I can't see the date, so it's it's presumably the time of the accident. So the last encounter between the male and the female leads to something that would bring him back to life as soon as possible. I'll watch back to 8.04.15 on the 1st. To all partings and internal encounters, the music video is presented from a memory perspective based on the time of his watch. I understand this person understands that the time is follows. The hostess died because of the pandemic, and the hostess couldn't make up for, for it. The boy met the hostess again during his death in a car accident. After waking up, he returned to his post but missed the hostess alone. Let's wait for a few years of wind to blow black and white. It is often said those who remain behind suffer more because they have to bear the pain of parting. In fact, with love, strong lives, and then meet again without regret. So I assume as much that this was based on the pandemic. Um, like I said, the pandemic is really rough on everyone. Um, I think I've mentioned this a few times, but I still remember the first initial, because if you guys don't know, I live in Korea. Um, it didn't really hit us too much later because Korea was more, I guess, a little bit more prepared due to a SARS outbreak back in the 2000s. Um, and so it hit us later, but I remember February 2020, towards the end of that month, before I switched to my new um, school that I um, go to, they had asked us to wear a mask and I thought nothing of it. Eventually I took it off again, but then they're like, please keep continue to wear it. And it wasn't until maybe March of that same year, I didn't hear about it. I, I full, re fully realized and fully heard, oh, there's a pandemic going on. And obviously for the next two, three years, we had these restrictions, um, I had to relearn everything, you know, when I, uh, cause I left in May of 2020 and then came back in December. So there were a lot of restrictions and I mean a lot. Um, so and that was like, you know, the way of life. And then this is like, you know, the pandemic especially was worrying, especially when you hear that a family member has it because you don't know how it might affect them. Um, so it's like, you know, there is no happiness without pain, I guess, that kind of thing. Um, so the kind of theme of this is what I'm going back to. Um, so this was a beautiful song, beautiful MV. It's an interesting motif that he's been going with lately. Um, obviously, pandemic has affected a lot of, oh, not well, has affected everyone pretty much. Um, whether some people stupidly not believe it or not, um, it has affected like the livelihood of a lot of things. So anyway, I'm rambling too much, you know. Um, this was an interesting and beautiful MV. Um, JJ Lin has done it again, made me cry. I knew I should have gotten tissues. Um, but this was a very interesting MV. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you do, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.